that insecurity you're hiding, the one you're ashamed of, the one you're keeping a secret, well, that is what makes you unique. That's what makes you special. That's actually your superpower. Let's get into it. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the man. No man will go through this life unscathed, unblemished, and without battle scars. Not possible. It will not happen. Uh, if we don't deal with those, those wounds, those scars, appropriately, they'll turn into insecurities. Right? And they're only insecurities because we're hiding them. We're not secure. When you're secure, you show, you reveal. When you're insecure, you hide. And you're only hiding because you hadn't faced it, you hadn't accepted it fully, you're not comfortable. Uh, you're not comfortable with the scars, you're not comfortable with the story behind the scars and the wounds, blemishes, um, so you hide them. But when we do that, man, we are doing ourselves a disservice. We're actually suffering internally mentally, which can take a toll on our health. You know, it's been said a lot of people uh, with cancer suffer from deep emotional wounds that they have not dealt with. And um, I don't want to say that's the case across the board, but the people I've known that have suffered uh, and succumbed to cancer had some deep issues, man, that uh, they didn't deal with. They didn't deal with. And actually, one of those people uh, is in my next book, Palma Christie. She has since passed uh, due to cancer. Uh, but uh, you'll learn a lot about her in my next book, Palma Christie. Man, it's a uh, real life fiction. And so anyway... We're doing ourselves a disservice, man, because we can ourselves learn from those things. Instead of playing the victim and woe is me, we can flip it. We can flip it into a lesson, into a sword, into a superpower. Not only for ourselves, but for others. You know, you do others a disservice when you, you hide your scars and your pain because someone else may need to hear that. We'll need to hear it, definitely. And that can pull someone else out of darkness by you sharing your story and showing how you got through it and how you overcame. But when you, you keep your story a secret and you try to hide your wounds, your scars, your blemishes, man, you're a waste of life. We're on this earth to learn and teach, right? And hey, I've been a, I've been a victim of that myself, man. In my in my childhood, I used to lie about a couple of things. I used to lie about. Now uh, today, I don't I don't lie. Um, I'm pretty I'm open book. Literally, I share a lot in this book. A toast to the man. Um, when I finished it, I had to look back and say, "Damn, man, I, I shared all that, you know." But I had to release it. And uh, my wife was like, yeah, you you uh, you shared a lot. So it was good to release that because, man, it takes a lot to uh, watch what you say, watch what you, what you reveal. Uh, it takes a lot of energy. But I had no idea at the time that it would help so many brothers. I mean, not even just brothers. It would help so many sisters that can relate. It may not be able to relate specifically to my story, but something connected to my story where they had to do with their own things. So, and that's what it's all about, man. It's about learning and teaching. Man, this earth is a classroom. It's a classroom. And, you know, my belief is uh, we have to come back, man, if there's some unfinished business, if there's some uh, insecurities, uh, 
some regrets, some guilt that we die with, I think we have to come back and take that class over again before we graduate to the next class. And uh, that's how I see it, a huge classroom, Earth has a huge classroom, and we got different levels, different positions, different uh, responsibilities, each one of us, different stories, and we all play different roles, but it's a classroom. It's a classroom, and it's for us to feed off each other, and that's what it is. But when you keep stuff a secret, you got these insecurities, man, you do yourself a disservice. And like I said, it's a wasted life. It's a wasted life. Uh, and you can help so many people by telling your story. You know, things, I believe things don't happen to you by accident. You don't experience certain things in life by accident. It, uh, we experience downs or perceived downs and highs, perceived highs for a reason. It's story. It's a story. And in your story, you got a few wrinkles in it. You got some color. You got some darkness. You got some character in your story. It makes it so entertaining, so interesting. But when you hide pieces of your story, you know, it's a boring story. It's a boring life. And no one wants to get into it. No one wants to learn about it. No one wants to, can learn from it, and it's a wasted life, right? And so I love listening to people's stories. I love telling stories. I love listening to people's stories. I think people are interesting, no matter what they've been through. I think they're interesting. And uh, what's so much more interesting is when I look at and listen to people's stories, I'm like, damn, man, you're still here. You know, that's the beauty of it. Like, you're still here. Uh, in spite of all you went through, you're still here. And uh, and I don't think people give themselves enough credit. You know, I've heard some, some uh, horrific stories over my time, especially in writing my next book. I've heard some, some heavy stories from women. But these women uh, are still here excluding one and uh you know she she succumbed to cancer the effects of cancer uh, but uh hey the other 12 women are still here and uh, i watched them uh some close up some from afar they're still here still telling their story all right so when you hide your insecurities whatever it may be man uh some dark stuff right when you hide it and you don't share it, you kind of leave yourself psychologically stuck in that place, whether it happened when you were four years old, at birth, 20, 30. Psychologically, you leave yourself there stuck because you can't get over it. You can't accept it. You can't flip it and see the beauty of it, right? The beauty of it, even in darkness, man, even in hard times, there's a beauty you can pull out of that. But uh, that that what makes you unique. It makes you unique. It makes you special because you, you speak to a different crowd, a different group, a demographic that I can't speak to, they can't speak to, he, she can't speak to. That crowd, those people will only listen to your voice because they can relate to your story. So don't hide it, man. Don't be insecure. You're here for a reason. Share it. Be comfortable. Be confident. Accept it. And let me tell you, man, you are special. You didn't go through that by accident. You went through it because you were trusted. You know, God trusted you. The universe, God trusted you. So baby, go through it. Come out on the other side and tell your story to a group of people that need to hear it. Right? Be good, man. Be good with who you are. Be good in your own skin. And uh, don't be ashamed. Tell that story, man. Tell it. Gives you character. Makes you more interesting. All right? From me to you, as always, love. Peace.